that we focus on time itself and the ability to change, to have resolution and to make a new life. In 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2 it says, Now is the acceptable time. Now. And we give ourselves that gift. We give ourselves the gift of, of having a brand new life, new experiences. Now, if we have felt limited in any way, it is time for a change. A change of thought about ourselves and about our life and the way that we're living our life. We can change any belief in limitation. We can't. We can change that once and for all. And how do we do it? We change to a belief in the unlimited power of God working in us and through us that always awaits expression, that we can call upon it right now, because now is the acceptable time. When Jesus spoke to a person and said, do you believe, that is actually a mistranslation in our 2012 language. It is much closer, what he was saying to the people was, can you accept? I'm telling you high and exalted things about you. Can you accept this? Well, if we say no, I really can't right now, maybe in the future, it will be delayed at best. You have to accept it. You have to become your prayer. You have to become your spirituality. You have to put on the Christ. You have to wear it. You have to have acceptance. And now is the acceptable time for you to do this. If you have felt that life is passing you by, if you felt, for instance, that it's uh, too late for you to be truly happy, well, it is time for a change, a change in thinking. It is time right now to enter into life in a joyous way. It is time to know that it's never too late to be happy. It's never too late to have a fulfilling life and to find your purpose and to truly be totally satisfied in your daily living. Now, if you have felt unappreciated, unloved, it is time for a change. A change in your way of thinking. You turn away from negative thoughts and think instead of God's great support. And what a support system you have spiritually, and God's great love for you. God needs you, and God has given you your own talents and abilities, many of which have not been discovered yet by you. And you can use these, and you can share these in 2012. As you give what you have to give, you will draw happy and loving experiences into your life. It is time for a change. It is always time for a change. For always you are growing in your faith. You're growing in your understanding and changing old viewpoints and ways of looking at your life. I wish you a wondrous life in every God-given way.